so we're, we're at this grassy knoll, and somebody at the end of the uh, meeting says, uh, raises his very and raises his hand and says, um, "Do you have hope for humanity?" And the Dalai Lama just kind of sat there and he swung his feet, and I thought, "Oh God, I'm not going to say anything." <laughs> no. But then he did. He spoke and he said, "Yes." He said, "But but two things must happen. You you." You must remain optimistic, and you must practice internal disarmament. And mm. and we drove home from that, and he was so, I mean, I thought, wow, that's so cool, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so we drove home from that meeting, and we talked about this notion of internal disarmament the whole way home. Um, what does it mean? I, I really think that if we look at the conflicts in our world, we think of, of our relationships with our clients or our children or, or in the world, the, you know, the, the tension that we experience in the world, if we could recognize that the very first thing that we need to do is practice inter internal disarmament, I think what it means is putting the arms down. Noticing when our own self-critic is, is at work inside of us. <coughs> Noticing when the judgment's coming up and the ways in which we're, we're making it far worse than we need to. And so in that moment when I really, I mean, the, the idea of practicing internal disarmament to stop the war within ourselves so that we can stop the war within our community or our family or within our clients, the work begins with us. And so the real key, I think, to resolving conflict is to understand the way in which we have to become emotionally self-aware of what's going on in our bodies, our minds, and our hearts. Because underneath the wild ride, underneath the drama, is this incredible need to connect with one another. Mm -hmm. you know? That's what we're longing for. Even in the relationships with our, our client, I'll tell you, when, when I, I had that happen with this person down in um, Pasadena, my main regret to this day is that I wasn't able to empathize with her in that moment because she was angry. She was really angry. What had happened was my own physiological, psychological reaction overrode my ability to be present for her. So I regret that. And I hope that in my own journey in conflict resolution that I become more skillful so that eventually, all right, I can see this arise, this strong reaction arise within my body, but have the presence of my, maybe even the skill in that moment to override it. 